Hi everyone, this is Dottie Ryan. I'm a registered dietitian and I am the Vice President of Planning and Implementation for Fuel Up to Play 60. I'm really happy to be here with you tonight and grateful for the opportunity that Discovery Education has given us to speak to you by way of this virtual information center. In just a few minutes, you'll also hear from Janine Rotolo. Janine is a special education teacher from Brentwood, New York, who uh, had some snow today, I, I understand. But uh, Janine is from Brentwood, New York, and she has been involved in Fuel Up to Play 60 for over five years. I know you're really going to enjoy hearing from her. Janine and I are excited to share information about the program with you. As you can see on this slide, um, we'll provide some top line information about the program. We'll talk about why and how you can get involved. And we'll also share some specific details about the various components of the program. Ultimately, we hope to inspire all of you to join our Fuel Up to Play 60 team. So thanks for being with us tonight. Hopefully most of you have heard a little bit about Fuel Up to Play 60. Maybe you just heard the name, maybe some of you have the program already in your school building. We are proud that it has become the nation's leading in-school health and wellness program, launched almost 10 years ago by some unlikely partners, the National Dairy Council, the National Football League, and in collaboration with USDA. What do all of these partners have in common? We are all really passionate about health and well-being of our youth. You'll also see from the pictures on this slide that Fuel Up to Play 60 is a lot of fun. The overall goal of the program is to support teachers and students in taking the lead on making healthy changes in their school wellness environment specifically aiming to improve in-school access to healthy foods and more physical activity. So, why should you get involved? Honestly, I've been involved since the very beginning and I could list just a ton of reasons why I think you should get involved. But instead of me telling you why to get involved, I want to show you with this brief video. Here we go, ready? <laughs> My name is Janine Rotolo. I am a seventh grade special education teacher at East Mill School in Brentwood, New York. I became a teacher to inspire. I wanted to make a difference. I had some great role models growing up and I wanted to do the same for my students and I hope I do that. Well, Fuel Up to Play 60 just is amazing. It's amazing for the students, it's amazing for the teachers that are involved. Opportunities here at the summit for them to have leadership courses and classes and to get to know other kids from other backgrounds and opportunities that they would never have if not for the program. You know, I have students that really were very shy when they started the program. Now they're going to other middle schools and inspiring other students. What better way for you as an adult to, you know, keep track of your eating and your physical activity than to get out there and be the example for the kids. You can sit there and you can just say, oh, do this, do this, do this. But when they see you actively engaged in it, they want to do it. And, and that in turn makes me want to do it. And then the smiles and the, and the that was great. It just, it makes you young again and, and you should do it. I, I mean, there's... Just do it. <laughs> that's, that's it, you know. Fuel Up to Play 60 really just does change lives, and, that, and that's it. And it really has, as far as giving them a voice, giving them tools that they need in turn to make better choices. Awesome. Now, I would like to introduce you to one of our heroes, Janine Rotolo. Janine is a teacher just like all of you who made that decision over five years ago to get involved. Janine, thank you so much for being with us tonight and for sharing your story and your passion for Fuel Up to Play 60. 
Go ahead. Thank, Janine, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Janine Ricolo. Um, like uh, Dottie had said, I'm a seventh grade special education teacher uh, from Brentwood, New York. I'm looking at this picture and it just makes me smile because all of these wonderful educators that are in this picture, I met at the summit two years ago and I am still in contact with many of them uh, via Facebook and other social media and we all share our stories and we support one another. So that I'll go over at the end. Um, basically, if you look at Play 60, uh, about six years ago, my friend Jesse Pion and I were co-advisors for our um, East Middle School Field to Play 60 program. Um, we heard the, we saw the advertisement, and we said, oh, let's give it a shot. Um, it started small. It started, it started with a walking club. Jesse started a walking club. Uh, we had a few students. We had them sign up. We had them work on the dashboard. I started a Zumba class after school. Uh, it, it can be as big, it can be as small, but it was so much fun. Uh, the video really is, um, it's just, it's so true. The students are, are given an opportunity to socialize. They're giving an opportunity to uh, not only play what we've been encouraging them to do 60 minutes a day after school, but we're also giving them tools on eating healthy. We're giving them an opportunity to meet other students that they might not have met. This program is great, especially for a child that might not be on a football team or a basketball team. And, and we have like these intramural type things with uh, Zumba, uh, flag football, we actually, uh, through one of our grant opportunities, we were given a flag football kit. And now after school, I have 100 kids once a week that stay after to play flag football. Um, an opportunity for them that they might be home, they might be playing a video game, they might be on the street getting into trouble. Um, and this program really gives them an opportunity to do the right thing um, and to make really good choices. Uh, Jesse and I really work very hard um, with the children uh, to cultivate their ideas. Many of our student ambassadors have created their own clubs. We had uh, two years ago, uh, Leslie Rodriguez, she uh, did wanted to be start a um, Latin dancing club. Another young lady uh, had a healthy cooking class after school. So basically we are just sitting there and, and they are running the show. It's definitely student led. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the kids have this amazing opportunity to let their voice be heard. Um, let them to embark change in their building. And, and really, it is just a lot of fun. We're like big kids out there playing with them. Uh, through the help of our PTA, we now have four family fitness nights, one each marking period. Um, again, it could be as, as little or as big as you want it, but it really grew with the parents. And I do a Zumba class at night. Um, after the Zumba class, we go into the uh, cafeteria and Jesse does a healthy eating demonstration. Um, usually something uh, obviously with a dairy product or something low calorie uh, through other grant opportunities, which you're going to be hearing about later on. Um, there are grant opportunities for, for you to submit. We actually got a blender bike and now we make smoothies and the kids actually ride the bike and the blender goes and we're able to um, provide the families that come to family fitness night uh, with these smoothies. So there's just so many, so many things that that you can do with this program um, and incorporates not only, like I said, that healthy eating component, the exercise, it's family and it's free and it's fun. And it really is, I can go on and on and I'm so sorry, I'm like, I'm a big Fuel Play 60 nerd, but it really is one of those programs that just really just put another fire in me. I'm teaching 20 years and um, this was something, like I said, six years ago that Jesse and I kind of just, we, we were we are passionate about we we definitely are and um, we enjoy the opportunities to speak to other educators like yourself um, and if you have any questions or you know or if you want feedback it's it's one big giant community that picture that I'm staring at right now I, I like I said a big smile um, we have our friends that we've made along the way that we're still friends with and we still talk about um, ways to encourage and help our students in our building with this program so. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to, um, you know, let us know this actually, this picture was taken in Indianapolis. We were at the summit. I was at the summit two years ago. And, and like I said, it was an incredible experience for one of our students who was the New York State Ambassador of the Year. Um, and they were able to go down there, all expenses paid, um, and meet other students just like her. And for her, that was, that was amazing uh, for her to meet different people from all over the country. 
Thank you so much, Janine. And I know you guys can hear the passion and enthusiasm in Janine's voice. Um, I'm always inspired when I hear our program advisors talk about the program. We, we do like to recognize them as our program heroes because that's what they are to us. Janine mentioned it, this program really is intended for students to be leaders, but we know that if the student is the pitcher, the, the program advisor is the frame around that pitcher, and they really do help to make this program go forward. You can check out our other HERO videos on our homepage. We'd like to brag about them all. They're all wonderful, and Janine, I'm so happy to hear that you're still in contact with so many of those other amazing program advisors that you met uh, in Indianapolis. Yes, it's, okay. it's really, it's a wonderful network. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for, for sharing your enthusiasm and passion with all of us. Um, okay, so how do you join Fuel Up to Play 60? Next slide, please. It really is very, very easy. All you have to do is visit our, web page, our website, fueluptoplay60.com, and click the big red button in the upper right corner that says join now, you can't miss it. That will immediately take you to the online registration page where you will be asked to provide some very general information about yourself and your school. And I promise it is a very, very brief form. On the right side of that same page, you will see an orange box that you can see on your screen right there that says program advisor. You'll definitely want to check the Become a Program Advisor box. It's that small box in the lower left corner of the orange box. This is the all important magic step that, you, that will gain you access to special opportunities and promotions and prizes on your dashboard. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about some of these opportunities, the funding opportunities. There's also access to downloadable promotional materials like posters and even your very own program advisor business card. So lots and lots of great stuff once you click that box to say you wanna become a program advisor or a hero. <laughs> okay, so I'm now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the different components of the program. The first thing I wanna talk about are the funds for Fuel Up to Play 60. One of the biggest draws of the program is the fuel up is that fuel up to play 60 offers an opportunity to apply for dollars in the form of grants, also equipment and supplies to support implementation of the program. The funds or the grants for fuel up to play 60 is a competitive grant program, but it is available to all schools that have a program advisor in their school building, and you're eligible to apply for up to $4,000 per year uh, for grants. All schools enrolled in Fuel Up to Play 60 that meet those certain requirements, and again, one of those is to have a registered program advisor are eligible to apply for the grants. There are two op opportunities to apply each school year, one in the fall, with dollars awarded in the spring, and then one in the spring with dollars awarded in the fall of the next year. When a program advisor applies for a grant, they're required to select one healthy eating play and one physical activity play from our program's playbook. And I am gonna talk a little bit more about the playbook in just a minute. But I do think it's important um, just to mention this, that the playbook and the entire playbook isn't available to anybody and everybody that joins Fuel Up to Play 60. You don't have to apply for a grant. It doesn't require dollars to implement so many of the plays. Uh, I think Janine mentioned this is a totally free program. You don't have to pay for it. All of the tools and resources, including this very expensive playbook, we have six healthy eating plays and five physical activity plays in the 2017-18 playbook. All of that is free to anybody 
that wants to join the program. It's only if you want to apply for dollars or, or equipment that you need to make sure that you uh, select that box that says you are a program advisor. And of course, we hope that you all will do that. Okay, on the next slide, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the playbook. Just like your very favorite NFL team, and I have mine, I live in North Carolina, so I'm a big, big Panthers fan. Just like our favorite teams start every single year with a playbook in order to you know, do the amazing things that they do on their field, Fuel Up to Play 60 has a playbook too. It is absolutely the heart of the program and is filled with different strategies for how to improve healthy eating and physical activity in your school building. With your support, Students are empowered to take the lead, just like Janine was saying. It's not the teachers taking the lead, it's the students really that we want to empower to take the lead in selecting and implementing plays that they want to do in their schools. And don't worry, we've got lots and lots of tools and resources to help you and your students investigate and, and identify opportunities in your school building to improve access to healthy foods and physical activities, whether it's before school, during school, or after school. I love the example that Janine gave about the smoothie bicycles. That's just a great opportunity for you know, kids to have access to healthy snacks. So if your students do a school wellness investigation and, and find out, wow, we really don't have access to too many healthy snacks, there are plays to help you figure out, you know, what it is that your school needs to, to get access to healthier foods. And that's just one example. Again, there's lots and lots of examples. But these tools and resources are available um, on the website so that, you know, everybody has what they need to, to do the investigation and identify those things that you want to do in your school building. Next slide. Without getting too much into the weeds, because there is just so much to this program that's so rich in resources and tools, so I don't want to get too much into the weeds. I'll leave that up to you to kind of vet, investigate the website once this uh, virtual information session is over. But Fuel Up to Play 60 offers six very easy steps that you can follow to get and keep the program going year after year. It's important to remember, however, that only those that are registered again as program advisors can mark these steps as complete on your dashboard. Everybody can do the steps, but in order to, to you know, gain access to marking that the steps are complete, you do have to be a program advisor. Once all six steps are completed on your dashboard, your school earns touchdown status, which is really a cool thing. All touchdown schools are featured on our Fuel Up to Play 60 website. Again, we love to brag about our program of advisors, we love to brag about our students, and we love to brag about our touchdown schools. And all schools that achieve touchdown status by April 1 of every school year will receive a great big touchdown banner that you can proudly hang anywhere in your school building. I know Janine has received touchdown status several years in a row, and she has a, a great big touchdown banner that she can hang in her school building. Um, we hope that all of you participating in this virtual information sen uh, session tonight will join the program, you'll become a program advisor, and you will score touchdowns just like your favorite team. The last component that I want to talk about, and Janine did mes mes mention this a couple times when she was speaking, was something that she called the summit. And the summit is Fuel Up to Play 60's premier event that convenes hundreds of star program advisors and students. Students uh, achieve points throughout the school year, and if they achieve a certain level of points, they become student ambassadors for program uh, for Fuel Up to Play 60. And then they can apply to go to this premier event that takes place 
every summer across the country in a different and exciting location, always um, linked the last several, at least five or six years, to an NFL market. So uh, Janine was talking about being in Indianapolis, and we got to spend some really great time at the Colts training facility last Summer, we were in Minneapolis, and we got to spend a wonderful day of events at the Vikings' brand new stadium. So it's always in, a, in, a, in an exciting location. Um, there's exclusive ex excursions, field trips that we get to take during the summit. There's also NFL experiences, surprise NFL guests, and much, much more. It is not just a lot of fun because this is an opportunity for us to celebrate and congratulate our program advisors and students, but it is also truly a student leadership summit. There's so many educational components and leadership components to this four-day summit that takes place. And Janine mentioned how so many of her students have come back and shy kids have now, um, you know, blossomed and become leaders and they want to lead their school and help change the wellness environment in their school building. So it's just a tremendous um, event. And again, just like why you should become, I could go on many, 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 many reasons of why, uh, you know, all of you should get involved and strive to, to attend one of our student ambassador summits. But instead of me rambling on, we're going to show you another video. This is a video from the 2017 Student Ambassador Summit that took place at the University of Minnesota, and you'll see um, some of our activities on the Vikings field. As you can see from that video, um, it is really an exciting four-day event. I get a little teary-eyed when I watch this video because I'm so proud of our students, our students throughout the country that really take a step to become a leader. And I think you can see, you saw, you know, these kids come to this summit not knowing one another. There are kids from all 50 states, and they leave crying, hugging one another because they've made, they've found friends that have the same passion that they do, um, and they they leave great friends and, and stay in touch for many, many years to come. So with that, I just want to say thank you guys. We've come to about the end of our time. Um, 
thank all of you, number one, for being taking the time out of your day to be on this virtual information center. Also, I want to thank um, Discovery Education again for giving us this opportunity. And I want to thank our partners at the NFL uh, for allowing, you know, being such great partners and giving us opportunities to connect with other people like Discovery Education. So thank you guys so much also. For any of you that have any questions, we, we do have some time if you want to ask. Um, a question we'd be happy, Jan I know Janine and I would be happy to, you know, um, answer you. And if we don't have the answer, we'll get back with you as soon as possible. Um, I think the question was how much time or commitment is there? Um, you know, it's one of those things where it's as much as you, as you want. Um, you know, like I said in the beginning, when we were unsure of what was, what the program was about as we were feeling it out, um, we did like a walking club after school. It was uh, maybe, like I said, 40 minutes after school and we had the kids come in and if they wanted to do it. And then it, it got a little bit bigger. Then we did walking club, then we did Zumba. Um, you know, again, it's as much time as you want to put into it. Uh, you know, if you get a few of your colleagues that are really into it, uh, you can, you know, spread that, spread that out a little bit, take turns. You'll see that the kids are really going to enjoy engaging with you. I can tell you that from experience, you know, the first time we did like a walking club and, and, you know, we did the first 5k. Wow. Mrs. Rotolo, you're running with us. Ms. Peon, you're running with us. Yeah, of course we are. We're, we're doing it with you. That's what this is about. So again, it's as much time as you, as you want to put into it. And the dashboard is key. Um, and the playbook is great also, because if you don't have certain ideas, you can take that, those ideas from the playbook. And they can guide you, and then you can tweak it as you go. If you say, oh, you know, I don't want to do this, I want to try this, um, and, and, you can, and you can do it that way. Thank you, Janine, so much. And, and I know I agree with you, because I've heard from some program advisors who maybe have meet with their Fuel Up to Play 60 kids or, or team every other week, maybe before school, or maybe they do it once a month, and they identify something, some area of their school building that they want to improve. So, again, it can be as frequently or as infrequently as you like. This is not intended to be a prescriptive program. We left it so that we know every school building is different. So you can you can literally mold this uh, program into whatever you want it to be. So um, thank you, Janine. Any other, any other questions? I'm not seeing anything on my chat box. Wonderful. Well, Thank you all so much, again, for taking the time tonight to join us. If you have, you can always connect with us through Fuel Up to Play 60. There is a, uh, a help desk. Um, so if you have a question, you can always submit a question through our help desk. And you certainly can connect with any of us through that, through, uh, that portal. Thanks for being with us tonight.